Hey guys, hope you're having a great Christmas Eve. I'm up here at the uh, Philpot Dam doing a little bit of fishing. Um, gonna go down here by the um, far side partition of the dam and do a little fishing back here. I know there's a lot of fish in there. Caught some trout, pan fishing bass in there before, so I'm going down there and give it a shot and see what we can do. Well, settle down, big guy. Here we are, Christmas Eve. Start off with a spinner for a little bit and then having a look. I just had some trout follow it. Oh, that's good. Okay, this is number two, actually a little smaller than the first one. I made a mistake of letting the uh, fish fall off the wall here with my foot on the line and snap the line. Lost my lost my line, but yeah, number two on the night crawler here. A little smaller, but they're plentiful here in this dam, so let's see if I can't get a couple more. Number three, starting to get on a little roll here. There's quite a few over here by this wall, so. Ah, slipper bastard. There he is, number three. Well, finally got number four, it took a little while. There he is. Beautiful large mouth bass from the Smith River Dam. Okay, I just got the fourth bass. I had to come up here to the bathroom. They actually, I mean, you see we're right here. I actually have a bathroom. So pretty nice facility here at the Martinsville Philpot Dam. Philpot Lake is right behind that wall, of course. Smith River here is the tail race of the Philpot Lake. And as you can see, where I'm set up over there by that wall there, there's a fence comes down to where my bag is. Um, right about there. You can see my orange and black bag there. So that's where I was fishing into this bay right here. And uh, I just want to give you a nice look at this place. Really beautiful. Of course, I've got to traverse these treacherous rocks here up and down, but there's no other way around. It's not too difficult. You know, I just walk along that concrete wall. It's really shallow against the wall, but out there, of course, as you can see in the dam area, it's pretty deep so i'm gonna head on back down there just took a little break when he's about them caught four bass and um picked up another rod i'm gonna throw a couple spinners down there and uh see if i can pick up a couple trout i started off with some spinners but I had some trout follow it in but i just went ahead and got me you know night crawler set up and already caught four bass having a good time hope everybody's having a great christmas eve merry christmas to everybody and uh go head back down there and see if i can catch a couple more well, there he is, finally, number five. Guys, uh, had a great day up here, had a good time. Hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas, be safe, and until next time, guys, see you later. Well, I thought I was saying goodbye, but I went ahead and hooked up into another one. Uh, look at how he's got his gills flared, almost like a yellow perch, so that's very interesting. And also, sorry, my camera's not focusing. I happened to hook him in the eye in a strange kind of way. That is very weird. <laughs> Very strange. Well, I guess I'm going to call it quits now. This is one heck of a catch. <laughs> but, uh, again, guys, hope you have a great Christmas. And I'm out of here. Going to go home and get warm. I'll see you next time.